They're going to be Hall of Fame as a night before WrestleMania. And it's about time. It's been long overdue that this man should be in the Hall of Fame. It's really long overdue. A man that was known in the NWA as Big Bubba Rogers. A man that was once known as just, just simply the boss. Not Sasha Banks, but the big boss man. Ray Trailer is finally going into the WWE Hall of Fame. I mean, a lot of people grew up with this guy even before wrestling. I mean, as he, the guy was originally a uh, a corrections officer, maybe even a security guard almost. Some people could say some people could say a security guard, but some people would say man of the law, a man of the law that was going to make sure it was restored and put into order and put into effect. And I mean, there's so many members of this guy. I mean, in the Twin Towers with, with Akeem, with with the Doctor Style Slick. I mean, a man who. I mean, let's look at his accomplishments. The man himself is a former world champion in a way. Not big, not many people recognize this as a world championship, but a former UWF World Heavyweight Champion, a former UWF Heavyweight Champion, a former four-time Hardcore Champion. A and a tag title reign of Ken Shamrock, and of course the Hall of Fame. But the guy has had a hell of a career. Probably one of the WWE's longest employees, God, I want to say since 89. I want to say since 89 or 88 or something like that. I mean, the guy's been even a victim of the Undertaker's streak. It's been great seeing this guy have minds in his. Just, just just, having minds in his way like Ted DiBiase, Jim Cornette, Jimmy Hart, Slick, Skandor Akbar, the McMahons. Uh, the guy's done it all. And if anything, it is about time that he is in the Hall of Fame. 